All right, so the card, that represents the nerve signal coming from the brain and the spinal cord. That tube represents the motor neuron. The end of the tube represents the neuromuscular junction. And those Jenga pieces, they represent the acetylcholine coming across the synaptic cleft. So when the car goes down the tube and it hits the Jenga pieces, it creates a domino effect when it releases acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft, which then binds to the receptors and starts the action potential to move to the T-tubules and that starts the muscle contraction. Alright guys, so that domino effect that we just did with the tube and the cars, I'm going to actually explain to you how the neuromuscular junction works, okay? And that's what we just kind of showed. Mm -hmm. So, first, you have a motor neuron, okay? And then here we go. Here is the muscle cell, or it's also called the sarcolemma. And then there's that space right in between there. Mm -hmm. It's actually open. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. The muscle, the, the motor neuron does not touch the muscle. The space is called a synaptic cleft. Okay? So inside, let's do this in blue, there are synaptic vesicles. And those vesicles, inside those vesicles, you have acetylcholine. Okay? So let's see what color. Here, let's do pink. So the action potential comes from your brain, the car, remember? The car moves down the tube, so that moves from your brain down here. It's, it's, there we go comes down the motor neuron from the brain and the spinal cord. This then stimulates these synaptic vesicles. And it also activates the calcium channels. Let's do those. Let's draw one there, one there. Let's do those in green. That's, oh. That's calcium. So the calcium enters in through those channels, like that, which then triggers exudosis of the synaptic vesicles. So these, the synaptic vesicles that are filled with the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Come down there. And so they move towards that synaptic cleft. And then they diffuse with the membrane, that black line. And then the acetylcholine is then released into the synaptic cleft via exotosis. Exo exocytosis, sorry. Exocytosis is like opening their mouth and spitting spitting it out, okay? They then diffuse towards the muscle cell, and then they bind, let's do it, uh, let's see what color should we do that? Let's do that here. Then they bind with the receptors. Whoops. So there's receptors there. Okay, so the acetylcholine gets spit out through exocytosis, and then it binds, let's see if I can make that bigger. It binds with these receptors. Close that up. Um, then they diffuse the muscle cell. They diffuse towards the muscle cell and then they bind um, with the, the receptors. And then the sodium enters into the muscle so then you've got sodium that enters the muscle. And 
And then this causes the action potential, which travels along the sarcolemma, which travels along the sarcolemma to the T tubules. And then that is the beginning stage of a muscle contraction. So every time you guys move your finger to lift up your fork to eat, anytime you use your mouth to say words, this is what's going on to move all those muscles. That's kind of cool. So that is the beginning stages, and this is called the neuromuscular junction.